What's up Team LCPS and happy Friday to you. It's a big day here at LCPS because it's time for our first Team LCPS MVP episode of the school year. It's one of our favorite traditions here at LCPS because it helps us recognize individuals on this team who believe and live out our non-negotiables. And here are our non-negotiables. That's support, high expectations, accountability, consistency, positivity, and grit. We're so excited to have our Team LCPS MVP awards back in action and we're happy that you've tuned in to watch once again. And before we hand out those MVP awards, I want to take a moment to go through a few highlights from around the school division. First, I want to thank everyone out there for a great first two weeks of the school year. It is truly remarkable to see our students and staff back in action and having fun while learning. In fact, earlier today while visiting the middle school, we saw students launching off their very own rockets. We take a lot of pride in what we do here at LCPS and I'm so thankful to all of our staff, our students, and this community for rallying around the school division. And here's another big announcement. Team LCPS, don't forget that next Friday, that's one week from today, we're celebrating our first green and gold day of the school year. That's right, it's time to break out everything you've got in green and gold, shirts, pants, socks, hoodies, you name it, break it out. If it's green and gold, make sure to wear it next Friday. And here's something else exciting. If you send your photos to the email address on the screen or post them on social media using the hashtag TeamLCPS, you'll be automatically entered to win a prize. And trust me, it will be a good one and we're giving it away. So mark it down on your calendar. Next Friday is Green and Gold Day here at Team LCPS. And next Friday is also our first home football game of the year. The Lions will take on Huguenot next Friday in the jungle and we need the stands packed. Our whole community pouring in. So come on out to the game, bring your family, bring your friends and come have a great time. It's also going to be fall sports night so we'll be recognizing members of all of our teams from the fall that you see on the screen. Again, next Friday is our first home football game so make sure to come on out as we recognize all of our student athletes in the fall. All right, now let's get to our main event. The best part of the week, our Team LCPS MVP Awards. We had more than 400 nominations coming this week. Awesome job. And early next week, everyone who received a nomination will get a card in the mail detailing how they gave an MVP effort. So again, great job and keep the nominations rolling in. So now let's get started. Let's name our community MVP of the week. And for that, we're headed to see our friends at the Food Lion at Lake Anna. Over the past few weeks, the team at Food Line at Lake Anna have really shown support to our teachers and staff. One nomination we received said, whenever I stop by to get supplies, the staff works hard to make sure the checkout process is as quick as possible so I can get the supplies I need for my students. I appreciate their friendly customer service and helpfulness. Today, we were able to stop by Food Line and thank store manager Jeff and the entire team there for being such a great support system for Team LCPS. Community partners are vital to our success. So to the entire Lake Anna Food Lion team, thank you so much and keep up the great work. All right, next up, let's name our first classified MVP of the school year. But since it's the first episode, we figured we'd go big. So today, our classified MVP award goes to our custodial team at Trevelyan's Elementary School. At Team LCPS, we are fortunate to be fully staffed this year and it's especially important to have a great team of custodians. Well, that's exactly what we have at Trevelyan's Elementary. Here's to the team, Bobby Sabins, Derek Johnson, Javon Whalen, and Juan Gonzalez. These guys are the dream team. Listen to these nominations. One said this team has knocked it out of the park. It has been obvious since day one that they're committed to keeping our school clean and safe for the staff and students. Another nomination said they're cheerful, helpful, and fun. And here's another one. It said the TES custodial team does more than keep our schools clean. They have been building great relationships with students and staff. We're so proud of all of our custodians and it was amazing to see the nominations roll in this week for the TES team. To our entire custodial team, thank you. The work you do is very important and as you can see, it is much appreciated. Well done, keep up the great work and congratulations. All right, now let's get to our certified MVP of the week. Let's head to Louisa County Middle School to recognize one amazing Bobcat, Mr. Jeff Harris. 
Mr. Harris is someone who represents the word support. He supports students, he supports fellow teachers, and he encourages everyone to do their best. It's making a difference because the nominations for him rolled in this week. One said, he has a strong work ethic and a desire to do well. Another said, his students love and respect him and his presence is calming and welcoming. And one extra special nomination said, Mr. Harris immediately greeted our family at LCMS Open House and helped my daughter get her schedule and pointed in the right direction. He also reassured my daughter that they would have a great year. His reassurance made them feel so much better. Our theme this year is r cubed and our mindset is to reset, reconnect, and revolutionize. Mr. Harris is bringing that theme to life. Mr. Harris, you're a valuable member of this team, an MVP, and one awesome Bobcat. Thank you for supporting your students and for making a difference in their lives. Today, it's my privilege to congratulate you and recognize you as our certified MVP. And finally, it's time to name our student MVP of the week, and for that, we head to Louisa County High School to recognize Caroline Chapman. Caroline is a senior at LCHS and she represents all of our non-negotiables every single day. She works hard in the class, treats her fellow students with kindness, and sets a good example for others. One nomination we received this week said Caroline is such a light in this school. She never fails to put a smile on the face of others and she is one of the most kind-hearted people you will ever meet. That's what we take pride here in LCPS, having great students who are also great people. Caroline, we're proud of you and really proud of how you demonstrate lion pride each day. Fantastic job and know that we're so proud to have a leader like you at LCHS. Great work and you are this week's student MVP. So now let's take a moment as we celebrate our first MVPs of the school year. Here they are one more time. Our community MVP of the week, our friends at Food Lion in Lake Anna, our classified MVPs, the entire custodial team at Trevelyan's Elementary School, our certified MVPs, Jeff Harris at Louisa County Middle School, and our student MVP of the week, LCHS senior, Caroline Chapman. This is a fantastic group. And make sure you comment below and congratulate them on a job well done. So that's our episode for today, Team LCPS. Once again, we cannot thank you enough for your support of our MVP process. Again, more than 400 nominations rolled in. 400. Those cards will start going out in the mail soon, and I know they'll mean a lot to everyone who was nominated. Thanks again for your support. Team LCPS, have a great weekend. And remember, next Friday is Green and Gold Day at LCPS. PS, so let's get decked out. So be prepared. We want everyone decked out in green and gold. And then a packed stadium Friday evening right there in the jungle. Have a great weekend, everyone. Stay safe. Enjoy the weather. And remember, we are Team LCPS.